What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Alabama Crystal Tide and just, you know, my view of the team and, you know, the state of Alabama right now. And um, we all know uh, Nick Saban is one of the best, if not the best, college football coach in college football right now. And um, he's done a lot for the, the program of Alabama. And, um, you know, right now, you know, we, we got – we're sitting on two losses right now and um, – we're not going to be able to make the playoff. Uh, we still have, have things to play for, you know, potentially, you know, get a bowl game or maybe all things, you know, get crazy and in some type of way we can make it to the SEC championship. But uh, I'm going to be honest, uh, even if that were to happen and we was to play that, that team over there in Georgia, um, I don't like our chances of winning. And um, that brings me to what I'm talking about, you know, it's been on my mind, you know, are we seeing the changing of the guard right now? I mean, Georgia is playing exactly how Alabama used to play when Nick Saban first started. Um, the grit of that team, like I said, uh, complete dominance. Uh, they look, they play physical out there, man. Like they dictate to you what they're gonna do. It's not what you're what you're gonna do. It's what they're gonna do. And um. It's hard for me to say that as an Alabama fan, but I got to be real, guys. And um, you can't deny what Kirby Smart is doing over there at Georgia. Um, granted, we all know uh, he was under Al you know Alabama's head coach Nick Saban's tutelage, and um, he took what he learned and took it over there at Georgia. And Georgia's greatly benefiting from that. And um, they have an excellent coach. He did an excellent job while he was at Alabama, and he's turning that program around. And it looked like it's starting to be the change of the guard, guys. I I know that's hard. You know, some people might get mad about that, but it's the truth. Ever since he left, I think he left in 2015 was his last season, and he became the head coach in 2016 at Georgia. What he's done with that program, like from then until now, they've won a championship. It looks like they're going to win one this year, guys, back to back. Doesn't that sound familiar? That that sounds exactly like how Alabama was. He's got a monster brewing over there. Meanwhile, Alabama, ever since he's left, our defense has been on a steady decline, and we've changed our, our offensive, you know, identity. You know, we went from being a team that ran the ball and played very good defense to now we're, you know, a team that passes the ball a lot and um. What is the identity of this Alabama Crystal Tide program? I mean, a lot of things have changed since, you know, Nick Saban first came in 2007, but Alabama has had great history, even with in the Paul Bear Bryant days. Like, Alabama has always had good history. So I'm not worried about the program being, you know, relevant, but it, it kind of, you know, got me kind of worried that, you know, where are we going as a, as a team, you know, Nick Saban is not always going to be there, but, you know, the team as a whole has struggled, you know, these last couple of years. The defense has been on a steady decline ever since um, Kirby Smart came in. You know, we had uh, Tosh LaPoy calling our defense at one point. Uh, he didn't do a really, really good job, you know, with the defense. And then Pete Golden came along. But before all that, when Kirby left, we had Pruitt, and then we went to – Toss the poi, and then, you know, at one point we had Charlie Strong on the on the staff, and um, the defense just hasn't looked, you know, physical. Just the team in, as a whole hasn't looked physical, and um, a lot of people are calling for Scott Cochran to come back. He's currently over there at Georgia. He was a good, you know, guy, but I can remember, you know, fans were complaining about him, saying, you know, why are we keeping in injuries and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not saying he was the reason why we had injuries. You know, football is a physical game. People get hurt, you know. But he brought something to that team. You know, he brought, you know, that physicality, and he got in there, you know, the players' faces. He got them amped up for games. It seems like this team as a whole now just don't have that that it factor. Uh, it's almost like we don't have no guys on the team that that's physical, you know. And I'm not going to, you know, bash players or anything like that, but, you see it on the field. We're getting out physical. You know, we have guys, you know, it used to be a time where players, 
if we messed up, you know, one of the players on that sideline would get mad and they'll grab somebody and be like, look, if you're not going to do what you're supposed to do, you need to get out of the game. You know, even down to Nick Saban. Nick Saban has, doesn't seem like he, uh, you know, like he's bothered, you know, for most of the part. I don't know if it's because of age. It might be because of age, you know, it's growing. But uh, I think his key elements of the team is still there. I'm going to just be honest. I think he's done a bad job this seat, you know, with these hires, these coaching hires. Not all of them, but I'm mainly talking about the OC and the DC, Bill O'Brien and Pete Golden. Uh, Pete Golden, like I said, he's a young guy. Um, and the defense, you know, even though people might deny it, the defense has gotten better, you know, a little bit, you know, since, you know, 2019. But still, you know, it seems like we're not getting the results that we're used to getting, you know. Compare us to, you know, Georgia, you know. Georgia gets it done. They had one of their guys hurt. Nolan Smith wasn't even in the game against Tennessee. But you you can't even tell the difference. I mean, the defense was still playing at a high level. Their they team plays like everybody's on the same page. For some reason with Alabama, it doesn't seem like all the players are on the same page. I was looking at, you know, the interview when they interviewed uh, Will Anderson and Byron Young. I mean, not uh, Bryce Young, I'm sorry, at the end of the LSU game. And one of the things Will Anderson said was he kept saying the same thing all season, but he said it again that it didn't seem like all the players were bought in with the game plan. To me, hearing that, that sounds like the players are not – they don't feel like, you know, that the game plan that we're putting on the field is going to be effective. And I'll be honest, guys, now that he said that and I'm thinking about it, maybe that's what the – so-called anxiety came from, you know, if I'm not behind my head coach or if I'm not behind my position coach and I go out in the field and I'm supposed to execute, don't get me wrong, players are supposed to still go out there and execute. But if I feel like this game plan is not going to work and I, I don't feel like I'm being utilized in the, the best situation in the best way I can be, that could cause some anxiety, guys. And I know it's not, you know, you're not, you know, that's no excuse, but I'm just saying, if we're playing a game plan and we feel and, and I'm a player and I feel like it's not gonna do it, I'm gonna still do my job, but that could cause some anxiety. So I'm not making excuses, but that could be one thing, guys. You know, I kind of just made me think about that. Maybe that's where the anxiety came from. Maybe they didn't feel good with the game plan. And that's another thing. The team is gonna take the identity of their head coach and their position coach. Now, with that being said, we all know Nick Saban is one of the greatest, but He's the head guy. He's in charge of the offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator and all the coaches. And he said in his press conference today that, you know, he took full responsibility for it. And I believe he will. And I believe he will get it done. I, I believe he's going to make changes. I just think he's just the victim of, you know, putting his trust in certain coordinators and uh, certain coaches and they're not doing their job. And don't get it wrong. The players still got to go out there and play. It's plenty of room for all the blame to go around. You know, speaking on Bill O'Brien, this guy, going into the season before we got him to come to Alabama, you know, I was kind of worried because I knew how he was at the Texans. You know, he had a great uh, quarterback in Sean Watson, and I was hearing, you know, players didn't like him then, you know, and he coming into Alabama, you know, uh, that kind of had me worried. But, you know, you know, a lot of people say he produced a Heisman quarterback, Alabama's first Heisman quarterback in Bryce Young. I think he did that only in the sense that Bryce Young was just so good. It's clearly evident now that without Bryce Young, we could have several losses this season. Um, Bryce Young is just that good. Uh, he's been carrying this team, and I kind of feel bad for him that he's going to leave Alabama. Well, it's not all said and done. You know, he can technically still come back his senior year, but I, I don't expect him to. He would go down as – one of the greatest quarterbacks at Alabama and not win a championship for his program. And that's kind of sad. I feel like O'Brien has wasted the talent on his offense. And, um, you know, it's just a shame, man. I mean, I feel like the coaches have failed the team and Nick Saban has taken, you know, blame for it. And uh, I have no doubt that he's going to fix this problem. You know, I just think, you know, it's too late right now in the season to do so. This is going to be an off-season thing. Um, 
And it's going to be critical, guys. Um, it's going to be a critical offseason. You know, like I said, Georgia's on the rise. They're doing everything fine, and they look like the new standard. Uh, I know that's crazy saying that, you know, they just won one championship. But if they keep playing like the way they're going to play, uh, Georgia's on a tear. And if Alabama don't make some key changes, which I think we're in a good position to make changes, I just think this season, you know, we have to dust it off and try again next year. But it's going to be a key, you know, it's going to be critical with, for Nick Saban to make a, the right decisions on the next coaching hires if he decides to make a coach hire. I, I feel like at this point he has to at this point. You know, there's no more excuses. Um, I'm thinking get rid of Bill O'Brien. And if not, so we'll get rid of Pete Golden and at least demote him and put somebody in a position that's better fitted because the results are going to show on the field. And so far, uh, each and every year, you know, since Pete Golden has been there, the defense haven't really been uh, at the Alabama standard. But it's just not, you know, the coordinators. I think it's all the way down to the strength and conditioning. You know, we have to get everything back on track, guys, because uh, we have all the talent in the world. Alabama is very, very talented. It just – a matter I feel like in coaching and then getting the right players in the right position. But uh, am I tripping? Am, am I overreacting? You know, you guys let me know in the comment section. And once again, guys, if you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll definitely be back with more college ball content. Thanks, guys, and roll tide.